The first workflow I want to show you is called Sure PDF. And in order to show you Sure PDF, I'm actually going to toggle over to Microsoft Word. Now, please understand, this doesn't have to be done using Microsoft Word. It can be any application that the user happens to have installed on their PC. The key thing to remember here is that I'm now playing the role of an end user, someone who has a document that they would like to submit to the print shop. In order to do that, it's as easy as printing your document to WebCRV. I'll show you how that works. I'm going to choose File Print. And the printer that's selected here is actually a client-side print driver that we have named New York Print Center. Of course, that can be named anything that you would like. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And at this point, Sure PDF takes over. In the background, it begins to create a PDF of my document. Here it comes. I'll just maximize this window. There we go. Now, an important thing for you to realize is that Sure PDF has just created the PDF on the client side. That is, directly on the end user's PC. Why is that important? Well, because it means that all of the fonts that the user specified in their document are now embedded into this PDF. That means there won't be any issues in the print shop due to font substitution. Sure PDF has also supplied the correct color profile and JPEG compression ratios to the PDF so that what you end up with is as close as you're ever going to get to a bulletproof, print-ready PDF delivered to your print shop each and every time. Just as importantly, you're now asking the end user to visually inspect their PDF before they ever even submit it to the print shop. So they can scroll through their document and they can confirm that yes, this is a dot for dot representation of what I expect to come out of the printer. So now I'm ready to accept my proof. I'll just click the accept button and Sure PDF print driver will automatically connect me to WebCRD. It's going to ask me to log in. I'll click the log in button and the file is transferred to the server. The system asks if I'm ready to check out or if I want to keep shopping. I'll click on check out. And now WebCRD brings me to the ticketing screen. Now, this is where I can enter in all of my desired options associated with this print job. But it's also the place where one of WebCRD's most convenient features comes into play. You see, WebCRD has the ability to remember an end user's preferred print settings. So, if you generally print in duplex, black and white, on standard white paper, and you have a delivery address entered into the system, WebCRD can remember all of that and it can apply those settings to every new order. In this case, my standard print settings for my profile are black and white, one-sided, on standard 20 paper. So for most end users, and our customers tell us that this is true for about 80% of end users, all that I need to do on this screen is just enter a quantity, enter a due date, approve my estimate, and click place order. And that's it. I'm done. I'm presented with a receipt, which also gets emailed to me by the system. So just to recap, I started out in an application on my PC. I chose file print, I approved my proof, and then I set a quantity and approved my estimate. The whole process took less than 10 seconds.